to welcome back mga kadiyan and again we are here for another differential equation video tutorial continue lang natin yung ating example sa exact differential equation so again first in solving exact differential equation is to test for its exactness kung exact ba yung ating equation so again we need get to get the partial derivative of m with respect to y so, partial derivative of m, this is our m with respect to y. So, we have 2x cubed with respect to y, meaning yung x is constant. And if this is constant, the derivative of constant is always 0. Minus, kasi may minus doon. So, partial derivative of xy squared with respect to y. So, yung x natin is constant. So, pwedeng ilagay natin siya kasi may katabi siyang variable. Unlike nung una, walang katabi siyang variable na y, kaya nag-zero tayo. This time, may katabi tayong variable na y. So, pwede ilagay mo na agad yan kung nalilito ka, then tsaka mo differentiate yung may y, which is derivative ng y squared is 2y. Minus, or what's the partial derivative of negative 2y? That is, the derivative of negative 2y is negative 2. Then, what is the partial derivative of 3 with respect to y? Obviously, the derivative of 3 is constant. So, that is plus 0. If we simplify this equation, this is simply equivalent to partial derivative of m with respect to y is equivalent to negative 2xy minus 2. So, for the next term that is or we need to test for partial derivative of n this time with respect to x this is our n so kung mapansin nyo may negative sa unahan so lagay na natin negative para hindi tayo malito so negative partial derivative of x squared y with respect to x this time yung y naman natin ang constant since may katabi siyang x squared pwede natin isulat siya para hindi tayo malito na agad then tsaka natin differentiate si x squared which is 2x. Then, what is the partial derivative of 2x with respect to x? So, ito parang di-differentiate ka lang ng normal. What's the derivative of 2x? That is plus 2. So, simplify lang natin yan. That is negative 2xy minus 2. Again, our my is equivalent to our nx Therefore, our equation is exact. So, if we have an exact equation, kailangan lang natin identify alin ba dun sa equation natin ang di at alin sa equation natin ang ndi. Again, para hindi tayo malito, by terms ang gagawin natin. Una, yung first term, 2x cubed dx. So, obviously, x, x. So, yan ay papasok sa ating direct integrable. Next term, negative xy squared dx. Magkaiba. So, dito yan sa nine direct integrable. Next, negative 2y dx. So, obviously, that's negative 2y dx. So, yan ay papasok naman sa ating nine direct integrable. Next is 3 dx. So, dx, 3, so, makapunta sa ating direct integrable naman. So, next term is negative x squared y dy. So, obviously, dy, may x ka dito. So, doon na tayo sa next. Sa ndi, ay mapapapunta yung ating negative x squared y dy. Then, meron pa, negative 2x dy. So, negative 2x dy, that is, ng direct integrable kasi hindi magka-partner sila ng variable, di ba? Sabi natin kung direct integrable yan, x dx, di, tapat x dx din, kung y dy lang. So, kung mapansin natin, wala tayong y terms. Okay lang yun. Pwede rin mangyari na wala din tayong di. Ang hindi lang pwede mangyari is wala tayong ndi. Kasi kung walang ndi yan, it must be variable separable yung ating gagamitin method. So, continue tayo. So, again, integral of di, that's 2x cubed 
dx plus 3 dx. So, pili ka ulit. So, kung saan ka mas madadalian. Pero, normally naman yung unang term nilang kinukopy natin. So, plus, integral ng negative xy squared minus 2y dx is equivalent to 0. Integrate natin yan. So, ano magiging sagot? So, our formula lang tayo. 2x cube. So, magiging lang yung 2x to the fourth over 4 plus 3. Integral ng 3 dx is 3x. This time, naka dx tayo. So, yung y ay magiging constant lang. So, negative y squared integral ng x dx. So, yung 2y is constant. Pwede yung labas natin. Negative 2y integral ng dx is equivalent to integral ng 0 is sinalang tayo. So, ito na lang ating sasagutan. So, we have x to the fourth over 2 plus 3x minus, so madali na to, hindi na tayo malito. Again, nilabas lang natin yung constant kasi meron tayong dx dito. So again, mangyayari lang to if our equation is exact. If we're solving for exact differential equation. Kung hindi siya ganun ng method, hindi natin pwede gawin yung ginagawa natin dito. So that is negative y squared x squared over 2 minus 2y integral ng dx is simply x is equivalent to c. So since may 2 pala ito, bagoy na lang natin yung ating c para di na natin babagoy yung ating arbitrary constant. So c over 2, multiply both side by 2. So we have x to the fourth plus 6x minus x squared y squared minus 4 xy is equivalent to c. So, this is our final answer for example number 2. So, again, pwede nyo itry kung paano kung ito yung ginamit. So, yan din naman ang lalabas na sagot natin. So, see you sa next video natin. Thank you.